Oh, hey guys, what's up? I'm your co-host, Cherry, from Uncle Cherry the 50 Productions, but now I'm on Lugia's T2000 channel. And today, I have a special video for you guys, because it's a brand new series I'd like to unveil for you. So yeah, there hasn't been a lot of content in the past. Me and Zach have been really busy, but now we have this brand new idea that I'm really excited to share with you today. And it's really cool, because I think it kind of combines something that me and Zach are both passionate about, streamline the content on this channel for you guys, and it's all something I think you really are going to enjoy. So welcome to the first episode of Golden Days Cartoons. So a couple months back, my co-host Zach over here did a video for you guys where he explained top five reasons why the new Ben 10 show sucks. Look at the show from 2006. Look at how high production value they had with the animation quality, but also the, the art style in general. It looks so much more sophisticated than it does now. It's really dialed down. It kind of reminds me of the Family Guy art style, which is actually considered one of the worst art styles in the animation community. I'm gonna follow up on that video today because he totally stole my idea and I have some opinions of my own. So this is going to be a series where we take the golden days of cartoons, if you will, or different TV shows and compare it to modern days. So Ben 10 is a show that's been through one, two, three, and also four, and now five different iterations, which is amazing for TV. Like if the first one doesn't go well, then it cancels, and if it does go well, then it might have a follow-up show, and then that show gets canceled, and it's this huge, giant mess. Ben 10, on the other hand, has gone through Ben 10, Ben 10 Alien Force, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, Ben 10 Omniverse, and now Ben 10 again, but it's not the same as this Ben 10 over here. It's completely different. So if you were to ask me what my favorite show of Ben 10 was, I would have to say either Ultimate Alien or Alien Force, and honestly, depending on when you ask me, one's going to be on top of the other but they were both really, really good. And what made them so good is I think first, it was the most streamlined Ben 10 has been with continuity featuring every episode. So you could watch one episode of the first series of Alien Force and end it with Ultimate Alien. And they're gonna be the same characters. They're gonna look the same. They're gonna act the same. Everything's gonna be the same with minute differences to symbolize a change in the character going through that whole circle of character development. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a like. <sighs> the show Ben 10, the 2016 version, does not do that. Where every Ben 10, it's like he's starting over from zero and then he kind of does that full circle, but then he starts back again with like no progress of that one circle being made. And are you confused? I am too, because the show Ben 10 is kind of confusing. Now, a little disclaimer, I've only watched the first season and Zach hasn't watched even the entire first season. And I will be the first to admit that the last four episodes of Ben 10 season one was really, really good. And that Bill Gatz character might be my favorite version of Bill Gatz in every single series combined. You're about to get heat blasted. I am always ready, changeling. Huh? Not so fast, Vilgax! Here's water in your arms! However, I do think there's a problem. So going back to that way stories are told and the continuity of things, what I was saying earlier is when you make a full circle, then that character learns from it and he's still the same character. Like, you're not gonna say, oh my God, it's a completely different character than what we started out with. No, but he will be more mature. Maybe he got injured in a way. Maybe he lost someone important to him. Grandpa Matt's, and it makes the character more real. Now, don't get me wrong, Benton Alien Force and Ultimate Alien did screw up a little bit, but it wasn't really the writer's fault. If you actually take a history back into the show itself, the network decided, hey, the original Benton did so well, maybe you should try to make Ben this older version, which should not behave the same as the 10 year old counterpart if it is in the same universe, which they were trying to do. And they said, let's make him act the exact same way that he was 10. So you go from a Ben that looks something like this. 
Gwen had this plan where we'd all talk to you and you'd see the error of your ways. Sounds like Gwen, all right. But you and I know better. We both know there's only one thing you understand. Big chill. To a Ben, though, it's something like this. I'm not kidding, Ben. I'm really mad at you. But you won't stay mad at me. I'm adorable. You're completely full of yourself. Which is forgivable because I'm so adorable. You were late for a mission. Kevin and I could have been killed. Now, they did make Ben more mature in the end, but still, that was a giant bump of the road, and we can't ignore it. However, when we come to the series as a whole, it was really, really good at keeping it consistent and keeping the character development going. Also, they had storylines, like not the one that does this, but the one that does this. It's called a plot mountain. Look it up. And then below a plot mountain, sometimes you'll have a different mountain that's called a subplot. But they were doing it for the whole series, so you had a storyline about maybe Vilgatz becoming Dagon in the Ultimate Alien universe, and then different subplots to follow. A really good example of a subplot was Ultimate Kevin. And in the new Benton show, I feel like we're never going to get an Ultimate Kevin, or at least connect to him in the same way, because every episode seems like it's own little thing, and it's all fun, and I feel like, honestly, what's really ruining modern day TV, and what I'm scared about, is that these kids are growing up where there's no consequences, and everything is fun, and everything is a joke. And what I loved about the time I grew up, or as I like to call the golden age of cartoons, and so does Zack, is that it felt real. No, like actually, it felt real. When Grandpa Matz was presumed as dead, this lovable character that was a father figure to Ben, that we all grew up with, it hurt. And I feel like if these new TV shows keep stripping all away that drama and the seriousness of it, and replacing it with something that looks like this. Ew, Gwen, what did you eat today? That's not me. That's the sulfur smell from the mud. Whatever. Well, then I'm afraid that, one, it's not a good story anymore, but more importantly, these kids are really missing out on, you know, life. So Zach already went into the whole artwork change and how it's not as good and stuff like that, different voices. I was coming at it more from a literary standpoint, as I am a writer myself. But let me know what you guys think. Again, when they did the whole continuity thing with Vilgatz, it was actually really good. And Vilgatz is my favorite character. So to say that Ben 10 is a failure, I'm not going to say that yet. One, I've heard the end of Season 2 is really good. But it's not going to stop there. We're also introducing a brand new way for you guys to connect with us. First off, I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite version of Ben 10 was, what series it was, and why you loved it. Also, if you hate a particular series, why you hated it. I would really love to hear that from you guys and get your input as well. Second of all, me and Zach are thinking about debating why Ben 10, the new one, sucks. I'm going to take the approach that it doesn't suck, it just needs improvement. Would you guys like to see that, and what would you like us to talk about during this debate? And third, I want to bring this series more closely to what you guys want to see. You guys run this channel, not me and Zach. So, if you have a cartoon, it can be brand new, and it can be 1990s, guys. Tell me what it is, and you can vote in the comments down below if you want to see something. And every week, or every other week, but at some point throughout the month, me and Zach will be running polls on which cartoon you want to see next. You can go through that, make sure you're subscribed, and hit the community section. It looks like this. And you can go and vote on what cartoon you want to see next. I'm really excited to give you guys a series. Me and Zach have been working hard on it. And sometimes it'll just be me, sometimes it'll just be Zach. And sometimes we'll actually be working together like the Ben 10 debate video we have coming up. But most importantly, I want you guys involved directly to us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know any feedback you would like on this series, how we can make it better. This is the pilot episode, so it's going to change. And they're not all going to be as long as this one because we kind of had some introductory stuff to get out of the way. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to give you guys this brand new series. Peace out.